Mark. Hello, Paulina. Thank you so much for joining, for joining us today, the Valley Icons platform. Uh, we are so grateful for you finding time to be with us and answer some of the questions. You look very fresh, as fresh as this beautiful picture behind you. <laughs> it's, it's a spring, spring mood. <laughs> It's wonderful to feel to feel the spring and to feel the nature the beauty of the nature. Valina, um, we've known you for some time and we've been privileged to have you as our guest artist, one of our very, very special and favorite artists we've been cooperating with in the past and so much look forward to the future mm -hmm. cooperations. Uh, we, we start our conversation with our traditional question is, how is your life right now? How you manage to do your daily routine in this new lockdown situation for all of us and for all the dancers? Uh, yes, well, the Germany was not so uh, bad, locked, not so strict rules like in uh, some other countries. So we... Uh, I didn't, to be honest, of course, I, I miss stage so much, the public and this routine every day, seeing the colleagues, uh, seeing to be in a studio, but um, I did not, um, was blocked in my head that, okay, now is completely different life without anything. I, I um, think really positive that it's just for some time and... Um, uh, we, I spend a lot of, I'm spending a lot of time with my family and we're going out in nature. You and must be uh, very happy to have so much of you and to be together. Yes, I just uh, find, like, try to find, and it's not so hard to find the pluses actually out of these situations, like really spending time with a family and go on nature much as possible nature 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 so we've seen uh, a lot of beautiful places and we didn't lock ourselves in apartment but we had a possibility because of course some countries it was a lockdown or it's still continuous and this is i can imagine how hard it is for the people who who far away from their family who is in some countries for just for a work probably like it's really it could be really difficult challenging time and how do you find this zooming and uh, uh, training doing a training on on zoom how, how do you find well, it's a of course it's a difficult thing but i find train through zoom it's more easier than alone because like this something pushes you so to train but again for the family since the kindergarten is closed so it's difficult. Like for me, I cannot every time go on Zoom to train because uh, the, the kid is all the time home or he's <laughs> with you. So and he wants to have you. Okay. Yes, he's the chef. He's um, our uh, director. So if um, sometimes we feel if he has to go out, we go out and then I train later in the day. So I find the possibility to, to train whenever oh. And um, yeah, it's like this for a moment. So I believe no one gonna ask us to jump on stage in, uh, uh, in two weeks, you know, so we're gonna have time to come back in, uh, in, I good, believe, shape. Ready. in yes. good shape. Yes, it's gonna be everything close. <laughs> Yes, well, um, I've been uh, in contact, of course, with different dancers and uh, directors from different companies. And the, the main concern is even when companies and countries will make decision to, to open finally theatres, it will take time for them to, time. to go back with all the rehearsing uh, processes. It's yeah, and I think it's also probably will change the repertory or the plan, plans of the of the performances, it's pros probably will not be possible to run immediately the big ballets with uh, a lot of people on stage. So probably at first it's gonna be something more productions, but maybe it will motivate the new choreographers to make some, create some new works or give some new ideas like a food for the art. So maybe it will, this difficult period for everybody, maybe it's gonna born some new uh, talented 
choreographers or ideas. Use their creativity and wish to, to produce something special, yeah. which will reflect yeah. these difficult times, of course. Yes, I think in a cooperation with uh, musicians, because again, it's not possible immediately to put together also all orchestra in a, in a cast with 80 people. So probably it will be something more um, intimate, but it could really, I think, create interesting things. I believe, I try to be well, positive. We have to, we have to be, of course, po positive. We have yeah. To and yeah. um, you, of course, explained that um, it's wonderful to be with your family and spend so, so much uh, time now. And of course, your husband is a um, is a dancer, and of course, your brother is a wonderful dancer as well. And you've been performing with him on several occasions, uh, yeah. on many occasions actually, yes. um, which which is an amazing cooperation with the brother and sister as a duo. Yes. Uh, I'm sure you, you're enjoying it very much, but uh, what challenges and difficulties do, do you find in this cooperation when it involves a member of the family, a person so close to you? Mm. I think it's first of all, it's uh, this support because it's a great support, but also you are worried for each other so much. So it's like a dub double worry, <laughs> but it's, um, I don't know. I think it's a it's a great experience because it's a long way through the artistic life because we both already a long time on stage. So it's a um, it's a lot to share and a lot to share. I hope very much to come on to London, be able because last time it didn't work out. So I hope to Absolutely. next time. Absolutely, <laughs> we are really really waiting for for this moment. Of course, it will be great. Yes. Uh, what would you say was your most memorable experience as a young dancer during your starting time and when you only were starting your performing career? Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> so many. If you yeah. have to share it's some. Me, yes. Um, the, um, always in, a, in the springtime when the this flower lilac that is now coming out i always remember exams in uh, russia <laughs> so this hard times very very tense um, months may and june and uh, every spring when this lilac flowers which i love so much comes out i always remember of the of the school years and these important years of um, uh, important years of the life so I, uh, but if it's particular, particular memory, something, yeah, something which you might remember, hard to choose <laughs> something. But you've been a very hard working student, and you you always been very very focused with your exams and what what you wanted to to achieve in your further career, and then of course your. Um, going to different competitions and being successful. With. Yeah, the competition was also at this uh, time very, very difficult. And of course, I never can forget. Uh, it's actually one of the uh, main, many memories, but this memory has a big uh, room in my head. It's the Moscow competition uh, of Grigorovich in Bolshoi Theater, international ballet competition. It was exactly the time of June so May was very, very intense last month of rehearsals. And uh, yeah, I remember that I, we were searching for the studios to rehearse because we've been unfortunately unable to rehearse in a, in a uh, school because of all the exams and there was no studios available. So we would, and after a sort of hour, the school would just be closed for the rehearsals. So we were finding the studios everywhere in a <laughs> in every hour of the day of the night we would rehearse and it doesn't matter which size of studio which floor and uh, which condition it just was important to train 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 so this time I remember very sharply very well, you see, your, your determination and hard work, of course, brought amazing results with competitions and then with your future engagements. Yeah, uh, I think that's what uh, the young students, uh, in a matter, they have to uh, go through the, the, through the some tough uh, exams because it's prepared them for the theater life for the future. So it could be a good 
uh, <laughs> examination. Okay. That's, it doesn't matter what you win the first uh, prize or the last prize. The, the work which done before this measured work, which done before the competition, before the entering on stage as a soloist, this work is important. Well, of course, not every dancer will uh, be managing to have so much stamina to go through all these competitions and be prepared and to be successful. But uh, to become a dancer, it's impossible to without very, very hard work and determination, of course. Yeah, yeah, I think step by step, it might be not working from the first step, but from the uh, 150s, it will work. <laughs> Uh, you've been working with uh, obviously different uh, big ballet personalities in your life with Vladimir Malachov um, uh, in, in New York. You've been working with other very important personalities. Could you share some memories and some impressions of your cooperations with Vladimir and um, what was the strongest influence for you uh, in New York? Yes, it's um, of course. I I have to start from the um, Bolshoi Ballet School. My teacher last three years was a director of the school, Sofia Golovkina, and uh, she was a uh, <laughs> she was incredible power lady. Which which with her example, we were shaking like front of her, but we were so respecting her. So it's. Um, uh, then, um, of course, later it came uh, Vladimir entered into my life and uh, he invited me to join Berlin State Ballet and um, then I start to uh, dance a lot with uh, him. So I, it was also a great experience, especially for the young girl who is just finished school and was... Um, to work with such a name, such a master. Yes, yeah, such a name and also, <clears throat> yes, it was a very... Uh, it's pushed me, it motivate me like like crazy, and uh, yes, and uh, of course there was also another teachers and uh, on my um, uh, way, and with who I uh, was very thankful to to work also for the competitions. I was preparing all the competition with. Uh, Yuri Vasuchenko, which was a dancer of Grigorovich uh, era. And um, then in uh, ABT was uh, Irina Alexandra Kolpakova, which I'm so glad I was <laughs> yes fortunate to work with her. She is um, she's a legend. It's just watching her, just this calmness, this positivity, this uh, beauty. On I remember her dancing. I remember her dancing on the stage. Yeah, it's. It's amazing, and of course, first of all, this the, this class of school. Like when you when you watch her pour the brass, it's just like um, you can meditate on it. It's such a beautiful. Um, well, what, what about your um, feelings and your relationship with contemporary choreography? How does I, it speak to you? Uh, maybe you could name a few of your your, your favorite um, choreographers with whom you've been working recently in the last few years. Yeah, it's um, I cannot imagine to be honest. Uh, like for now, life I cannot imagine, uh, and actually also for the past <laughs> ten years, I could not dance only classical ballet because I love classical ballet and I love also um, neoclassical ballet. The dramatic ballets, but I, um, I'm also hung, have a hunger for the contemporary ballet because I think the combination of both uh, type of uh, different types of dance it makes sort of difficulty for the f physical difficulty, but it's an amazing. Uh, ex um, you you open new doors and uh, and you you are so expressive uh, in contemporary choreography. Um, I, I love uh, there, in contemporary. Yeah, there is um. Thank you, <laughs> thank you very much. But I think there is a you can express your soul through the 
through the, your body, muscles, bones, uh, blood. I don't know. It's a, it's a it different... becomes you. This dance and this choreography becomes you. Your your body, your mind, everything together. Yeah, I think it's also like if a classical ballet is very, it's airy. It's more in the air. That's what we are looking for it to be, um, without weightless. Then the contemporary is earthy. It's groundy. It's more. Uh, so the it's completely different thing. It's like uh, ground and the air. <laughs> and <laughs> but, much uh, you and your soul and your personality, because then you you will put. Yeah. I, yes, probably you can be more yourself. But I believe in everything. You, I search for myself, <laughs> for to being uh, who who I am. Even in the roles which I would uh, not see myself, I love these roles particular because it's like um, you uh, jump in another skin into another skin. So it's very interesting. And the choreographers, I love so much to work with Nacho Doato. He was a director for a few years in, uh, in uh, Berlin. Mm -hmm. And uh, I enjoyed a lot to work with him on his choreograph on choreography. I, uh, I would love to dance more of Killian. I did um, one value of him, but uh, I would like to work more on his um, works. And Matsek is a choreographer which of course it's so interesting for the, I think every artist, and I didn't have yet the opportunity to, to perform. We had a little small workshop with him. It was great. <laughs> it was great. So many uh, great people you've been- David Dalton is another choreographer which I'm waiting for the opportunity to work with and it's in the plan. So there is a, there's a lot of modern contemporary choreographers in our days. Do you have any desires for yourself to start choreographing? No, in the moment, I think it's something has to be, um, like, I think you should not push it out. And it's, it should be like a vision which comes from the sky. And I don't have it yet. So I'm sure it will be coming. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Which role uh, or few roles you're missing the most right now when you still can return to the stage? Well, I, um, I miss, um, I love this old dramatic roles, Onegin, Chameleon Dan, <laughs> Manon, it's so, these stories is just, um, I don't know, it's a... Uh, All you admire is waiting for you to be back on the stage to dance all these roles. We're <laughs> really waiting. Yeah. Yes, we have to be because I think uh, these roles, um, if you don't touch sort of uh, months or year or years, it's changed completely your idea of everything. So when you, after some break, you enter again into work on a uh, um, role, on particular role you are different because it's past the time so you start sometimes i think i start everything from zero because i start to and this uh, process i love so much this process it's difficult it's always easy to repeat <laughs> but i start from beginning because you changed the world changed around you your thought your experience your heart everything changed it's a beautiful, beautiful reflection you are giving us. And of course, uh, after this period, when we've gone through a completely new dramatic experience, I'm sure will bring very new emotions and very deep emotions in your future yeah. interpretations. Um, final question I would like to, to ask you, um, what is your lesson and what you realized during this time when you didn't have access to the stage and when you realized that the world is so fragile what, what is your lesson and what, what is the what, what will be the main memory from this period for you i um to be honest i realized that sometimes the the problem the we think it's a problems what we go through life or not even problems but situations like something doesn't work or something works not like you want or something uh, you cannot get. I take, I uh, speak about um, our life in the theater 
or on stage or in something what you um, I don't know, some, something what bothers us every day. Yeah, it's every day something bothers everybody, right? And I think this time, it shows us that it's not most important, that there is so much more global important things. And, uh, and the most important to have a base that uh, your family is well, that they're healthy, and that uh, they are with you and you are with them. And because then, like this, you uh, you, you manage everything. everything. Yes, it's all makeable. It's every the human being can do everything if he's uh, healthy. You just have to sometimes wait, or sometimes uh, I don't know. Opposite, do the step, but understand what is really important in life, and what is yes. less important. And I think this time, it, and it's, uh, and I think it doesn't matter because of how much we love our um, work, which is our life. But even with this love, you understand that it can stay and wait for a few months. But the, the lives, the wellness of the planet, of the earth, of the human being, this is most important. And we have to spend our time also for this and not just for our work. We have to spend time for people we love. We have to spend care, to give care to the world, to the nature, to the... Uh, so it's maybe very global, <laughs> but I think... Well, it's wonderful. Time... You're saying beautiful things and very, very correct things. Thank you so much for... <laughs> sharing this. Polina, we are very grateful for you joining us today, speaking to us. It's wonderful to see you in good spirits. We have to be um, very positive and appreciate what we have around us. And uh, needless to say, again, we can't wait to see you on the stage to work with you. I also can't wait. Thank you. And, uh, thank you. Uh, keep safe. Uh, and we'll be seeing you very, very soon. Thank you very much again. Thank you, Thank you very much, you too. Thank you so much, Palina, for being with us today. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.